Well, Christy, we're a day late and several ears of corn short. Yeah, doggone raccoons. We knew it was coming, though. We did, and we just ran out of time and didn't get around to it. Didn't get around to it. You know how it goes. Well, we'll do that tomorrow. We'll do. It. Maybe yeah. there won't be any coons this year. That proved to be wrong. <laughs> it's dry and hard now. Yeah. This was flooded in June. Early June, I think. I like that you brought everything out here in one rig. Yep, big tool rack. I used to have to good. try to carry that bucket. That wasn't easy. Well, we tried to put the stuff in the front bucket of the loader for several yeah, years. Yeah, we did. That and it never worked. Work it just either. was too much stuff and it was too bulky, especially the tall stuff. Yeah. This thing's got good sides on it and it works pretty well. Okay, I got you some new stuff this you year. You new stuff? I did. I like new stuff. Is it a oh. ring, a necklace? It's a string. Hmm. That's so, close. used to we had that old wire that would get bent up and it was hard to work with. What? Well, I don't this? know that this is going to be much better, but the oh. idea is it's visible. To the animal or to, to me? The, so well, I don't run into it. I really don't want to get zapped. See? Yeah, that is nice. It's supposed to have five conductive wires in it. Touch it afterwards, right? Not me. I'm going to let you test it. Nope. Mm -mm. Just look at what they did. Well, the good news is they ate them completely. They must really liked it. And they strode it all over the yard. Sometimes they just eat a few bites of each one and go get another one. Christy, do you remember these lock jaws things we used? Yeah. These are the uh, kind of electric fence insulators. I, I looked today at, at Real King. They have a bunch of different connectors for posts like this. None of them even close to this innovative. Yeah, we found those at the farm show, didn't we? Yeah, we got them at uh, the... Uh, National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville. And you can put them on basically any angle, like whichever way you want your post. Now, in this case, I want my fence ar around the outside of the post, right? I don't want the animal to be able to crawl up the post, right? Right. But we can just put them on at any angle. They've got all these little grips and stuff. I'm gonna try to use exactly the same ones we used this last year. And they're sun faded a little bit. Yeah. But they're just as good as new. And I, I wanted to use the same ones just to, you know, give them some more wear on the same exact. Yeah, make, to see if they're fragile, basically. Yeah. If they break, then they only lasted one season, but... There's a bunch of different angles these things will go on, but they really do hold tight. I'm going to put, I think these four are on the four corner posts, and then I was hoping maybe you could run that wire, and I could go around with those black posts and put those in. Okay. So again, I, I want the fence on the outside, and beyond that, I don't really care, as long as the fencing goes around like that. There's these little corners right in here, and that's where you want one corner of the post or one, you know, one, one edge of the T. It can be any of the three sides. It needs to be tucked right in there, in that spot right there. And then you push it around till you get it tight. And then to release, you just kind of grab this like this and it'll spread. So it works really well, like this. Now, you can buy these things at lockjaws.com. If you'll use coupon code TTWT, you get a 10% discount. And they're supposed to last a long time, five years or more. We probably don't have a lot of folks using electric fence on this channel, but this kind of thing might be for the low volume fencing, you know, where you need just a little bit around your sweet corn, or maybe you have just one small pasture, even temporary pasture, something like that. You want me to go ahead and put it in the... Yeah, as you go around, see if you can put it in and make two whole rounds with the same wire. Hey, where's your backup beeper? Beep, 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 beep. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. That was for safety precautions. Yeah. I am wearing safety glasses. Okay. Just in case anybody wanted to know. They're safety sunglasses. Do I need to pull it tight? Well, eventually we will. Run that one through the bottom level again. I wonder if being able to see them is worse for them. You might be able to say, well, I could jump that. How much do you think raccoons can think? Not much after they've just had a charge. Right. You may have to kick that morning glory down a little bit. And this one too. I don't think we got the top one stretched quite tight enough yet. 
No, it's just laying down there on the ground. Well, and that would explain that. This is what morning glories do, and that's why they're so bad on cultivators and stuff. What a mess. Man, the ground is hard. They do make putting up the fence pretty fast. Yeah, it's really no issue. Makes us wonder, why didn't we do this before? Yeah. <laughs> I just have trouble getting around to it. It's not like I'm pushing hard with my foot. It's just that I can't push hard because it wants to go every which way. As dry as it is, it makes me wonder how far down you have to go. This is an aluminum rod, copper connector on it. Okay, this is really not very complex. Basically, you have the wire on the hot side here, and it doesn't ground to anything. It's, it's an, you know, you might think of it as an open circuit. The ground side of this thing, we attach to ground. Well, you'd say there's no complete circuit there. How's it going to work? That's exactly right. There's no complete circuit until Christy grabs it with her hand. Not me. Uh -uh. And then there'll be a complete circuit, and that's the only way we'll know if it works. I'm not grabbing that thing. Well, I mean, we need you to try it. I'm not grabbing it. You can grab it. Don't you have any other way to test it? Yeah, I do have a tester. Why don't we get that out? You actually wanted me to grab hold of that. You're not going to test it? No. Uh-uh. I think I did that one year. I think you didn't. I think you've been a wimp every year. We can go back and check the videotape. No, it's not. I have no recollection of you actually t grabbing it. I do every year, except for maybe this one. Right now, it looks like it's nothing at all. Okay, we got it powered up now. This conglomeration I had down here, I was touching the metal post in one place. And that's really all it takes. So if, if your charger's not working, if your tester doesn't show anything, it, what we did was I unplugged the wire here, the hot wire, and then the tester was working right directly to the charger itself. So I knew the charger was working. But sure enough, you know, we had a ground vault in our wire. That's where I was touching this post down at the bottom. Now we're running an electric cord all the way from the house, and we don't want to do that in the long term. So we've actually bought this solar fence controller Real brilliant, I bought that today and we were gonna set this up tonight. About supper time, it's, it's, we're doing this in the evening because it's cool. About supper time, Christy says, I wonder how long that thing has to sit in the sun before we can use it. So then I read the instructions and it says it has to sit in the sun three days. So okay, we'll leave it out here sitting in the sun and eventually we'll get rid of our electric cord. Meanwhile, we're gonna salvage the rest of that sweet corn. Come on in here, Christy. I've been cleaning up the corn that they ate. Have you? I want to find me some raccoons. Well, maybe you can kind of camp out here tonight. Get your camouflage on and paint up your face. I hope this works. I don't want them getting any more of our sweet corn. Yep, I hope it does too. You know, the good thing is there's not much to clean up. We can throw the stuff in the big tool rack. One trip back to the shed. We're done for the evening. That's awesome. So thanks for watching, everybody. Go to bigtoolrack.com. Get your tool rack. Amazon.com slash shop slash tractor time with Tim has got all the parts used in the fencing here, or at least some very similar to it. Lockjaws.com for the lock jaws. Those are the coolest things we used here all day. Yeah. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, tractor time, time with, with Tim. Tim. upset with the raccoons for eating your sweet corn. It's our own fault. Yeah. But it's not fair.